Mercedes at the United States Grand Prix was ever so close again to that first win of the 2022 Formula One season. The team in Hamilton seemed to give it everything, but two-time world champion Max Verstappen made the pass to clinch victory from Hamilton on lap 50. But the question everyone has is, was Mercedes a genuine contender for the win at Austin, Texas, or was it just luck that swinged past Mercedes at Austin? Stick till the end to find out. The Silver Arrows came to Austin with a host of aerodynamic upgrades, the last for this season, according to Mercedes. The team brought altercations to its front wing, rear wing and the car floor. Front wing had reduced camera front wing tip and additional slot gap separators added. This reduces wing tip loading, improving onset flow to the front drum deflector, which in turn improves tire squirt management and flow to the rear of the car. The slot gap separators improve the rigidity of final two front wing elements. Small change to floor fence camera was brought in to improve flow quality to the rear of the car, which in turn increases diffuser load, whilst maintaining front floor load. Floor edge wing was altered with increased forward cord, which increases the local load on the floor edge wing, increasing the total floor load without hurting the diffuser load. A reprofiled rear wing end plate was introduced to result in more upper rear wing load through all on-track conditions. The big question we have to answer is, has these upgrades worked out for the Silver Arrows? When we take a look at the quali session times set by Hamilton versus Red Bull and Ferrari, he was six tenths down on the fastest time set by Carlson Sainz and half a second down on Max Verstappen. Now let's analyze telemetry data. The Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton is down by 6 to 10 km per hour on top speed when we compare with Verstappen's RB18 during qualifying at Austin, Texas. The top speed deficit of the W13 to the RB18 has reduced by a significant percentage, might be track specific, but it is reduced from a deficit of 10 to 15 km per hour. Circuit of the Americas is a bumpy track, therefore according to track record at Monaco and Azerbaijan, the W13 should struggle at Austin. But the Silver Arrows were able to run the car close to the ground, generating that much needed downforce. This made the W13 the fastest car on the slow speed corners, whilst losing time on the straights. So, yes, the upgrades did work, and it seems Mercedes have found the correct direction of development for its W14 as well. Mercedes, at Austin, again was so close to that first win of the season, but eventually, lack of pace led to Max Verstappen winning it from Hamilton. But, was Hamilton actually a contender for the win at Austin? We will have to analyze the race from start to finish to answer that question. Hamilton and Verstappen started the race on the medium compound tire, and at the time of Hamilton's pit stop, Verstappen had a five-second lead on second-placed Hamilton. Hamilton pitted at around lap 16, so it is about three-tenths a second that Hamilton lost to Verstappen on that first stint. But, we saw the Tread Bull was always looking at Hamilton's lap times, because the Austin race is a two-stop race, and the hards were the favorite tire comp at going into this weekend. We all know that the W13 has much better pace than the rest of the field on the hard compound tires. And at the final stages of the race, we saw that Verstappen was half a second faster than Hamilton on some laps, but Max was running on the mediums, whereas Hamilton was on the hard compound tire. The pace difference between the hard and medium tire is about one second per lap of Austin. Therefore, if there was a straightforward race at Circuit of the Americas, without those safety cars, Hamilton and his W13 had the pace to overtake Max Verstappen's Red Bull on track to clinch victory. But as it happened at Zandvoort, safety cars gave Red Bull the opportunity to play strategy to win the race. Many fans have this question, what if Mercedes did put Hamilton on the medium compound tire, would Hamilton have had better pace to defend against the Red Bull? The straight answer is no. Hamilton pitted on lap 35, so he would have to do tire management while attacking hard to keep Verstappen at bay. It's cause on the first stint, we saw that Hamilton had to pit after 16 laps due to tire degradation. Therefore a 20-lap stint on the medium compound tires with Max Verstappen behind. That's a tough asking, even from the seven-time world champion. Therefore, the hards were their best bet, and it played out well, if it wasn't for Sebastian Vettel holding up Lewis, this would have boiled down to a last lap fight for the win. Also to mention that if Hamilton decided to go to the mediums, there was a high chance of Leclerc challenging Hamilton on the last few laps. Only three races remain and does Mercedes have what it takes to get that win this season? Brazil looks to be a promising place, as we saw Hamilton climbing from P20 to P1, 
winning the Grand Prix eventually. With Sector 2, the Mercedes duo will be able to close the gap to use DRS to make the overtake at Brazil. Mexico will be a hard task as the Sector 1 demands straight line speed which the W13 lacks, but the W13 will be able to make up ground through the second and third sectors. So, not impossible, but a hard task. And Mercedes has a new front wing option for Mexico, with redesigned fasteners, but its legality is not yet verified, so fingers crossed for that. When checking on Abu Dhabi, Mercedes will be on the top on the third sector, but the first two sectors, they will lose out to Red Bull due to the lack of straight line speed. Should Red Bull be worried of Mercedes at the last three races of the season? Yes, for sure, because they proved their potential at the United States Grand Prix, they were better than Ferrari in terms of race pace. The W13 of Hamilton was matching Max Verstappen and was at certain places faster than the Red Bull, which shows that the Silver Arrows have the potential, and if everything goes their way, Mercedes could be a real troublemaker. So, it's time to place my verdict on if Mercedes is a genuine contender for race wins on the remaining races of this season. I believe, yes they are. The W13 is stable, is performing very good on bumpy tracks, and the team is able to predict the car's setup better than before. The only problem the W13 has is their lack of straight line speed, but the result of Austin will provide the team and drivers with the motivation to go for the race win, as Mercedes has nothing to lose this season, and the team has all at its disposal to play for. But, what do you guys think, has Mercedes improved, are they getting to where they were before, and will Hamilton be able to maintain his record of winning at least one race on every single season he has raced? Let us know in the comments section below. If you want to know how Red Bull has designed a rocket ship in the form of its RB18, click the video box shown on your screen now. Thank you for watching this video, please subscribe, and I will catch you on the next episode.